Hello, Jenny. Hello. How are you today? I love you, Jenny. <laughs> Yo, that movie is still so cold. <laughs> Bro, have you eaten that? I, wa- I just watched it recently again. Dude, it is. <laughs> when you watch it as an adult, you're like, whoa. Yeah, it's a fucking massive. Forrest's mom is YouTube. down. Forrest's mom really cares about his education. Dude, yeah. What is good, everybody? We are back in the bakery, boy. And, and let me tell you, man, the blunts is going, the dabs is. It, yeah, every moment we we are all the way in motion. Man. Welcome, welcome back to the Hippie Chronicles, man. This is what episode? What we say? Eighty nine? Ninety? Shit! This is episode ninety, man. We are ninety. Ten on. out from triple. We D. are ten away from the big hundo. Yeah, so countdown, bro. Have a question? Yes. So we're are mad. You? We're mad close to the two year mark too. Yeah, that's in September, bro. So are you the type? Do you, you stop and smell the roses? You look around. You talk about the upgrades around the. You know the studio coming up where you come, or you grinding. <laughs> He's You're always on. I'm tra- grinding. I'm tra- I am I trying can't believe to you enjoy asked that question. every single you don't know step me. of this process, <laughs> and just every experience it brings. And I'm trying to stay as much in the moment as possible. And he is pushing every day. I'm like, dude. I mean, look at what we just did. Enjoy this real quick. I'm like, oh, that's he, cool. He, All right, the what's only next? flowers he smells oh, is no. the weed. He doesn't stop to smell any flowers. Stop to say. Wow, it's or, good though because he keeps me driving when I want to chill. Facts. I think it's maybe like I take a minute before I go to bed to be like, okay, today was a good day. What's it's next tomorrow? It's, I mean, it's right. Good, good, good to make time for that. You right? know what I'm saying? Like I got it is. You're right, but like we we'll start asking you. To I'm hungry for all that. <laughs> right? like, Why don't you text me that every night? Yeah, I'm gonna ask you. I right? promise. I'm gonna text him at midnight. Hey, hey bro. What you think about right when now? You text me at midnight. You're not getting a text back because I gotta get up at four. So I usually try <laughs> yeah, to be. Yeah, you should be asleep. By I should. Tr- I try to be in bed by like nine thirty, ten, bro. I'm, I, yeah, I know. It's crazy times. You, text if, me you're, your if you're hustling, night, you're yeah, raising exactly. kids. You got babies. Your wins, bro. Yeah. You know, shit, man. It's it's tough. Usually. Yeah, I got two kids. You know, uh, my old ladies went back in school to chase her. Uh, what is it, masters? Oh damn! Uh, in what? Uh, school psychology. Yeah, bro, she's trying to level up, which is level I think is dope. Up. Does uh, is she a, is she a patient? She plays with you. She a smoking session. Uh, kind of girl? I don't. I I can't say. I I, I don't want to answer that question okay, for her. I got you. I got you. Uh, but she doesn't discriminate. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, she's all Obvi- for the plant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, she's all for the plant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, uh. As far as her smoking it, she can't right now. Okay. You know, just because of her job and shit. So the ebbs and flows of life. You know what I'm saying? I which I feel like as much as teachers get fucked in the ass, I think they should be able to just light up on shit. on the job. They might like, eat it uh-huh. most, right? <laughs> you know they should get yeah. They should get like edibles at lunch. <laughs> you need to give every teacher a day tripper, right? Like, they need a, a, a cartridge and have a. Every cookie school bucket. should be sponsored by a grow. No, I'm not even gonna lie. My my daughter's old teacher when she had her old school. Thank God she don't go there no more. I swear, man, I would just see her every morning when I would go to her class. It would just look like she goes home and just <laughs> takes fat rips from the. Bar. I ain't Dude, even I mad at her. I would be like, yo, I swear. I'd be like, yo, miss, I got a little uh, ounce for you if you let my daughter. <laughs> I'll just play, bro. My kids are good. My kids are good. They're straight. Um, but for those of you who don't know. It's your boy, Young Hippie. I got my guy, K, Boogie Boog, in the building. What's up, dude? Chillin', chillin', man. Another Saturday. Happy to be here. Already high. Already. We're about to get there. We don't play. Y'all know we don't play. High grade came through. High grade. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. High grade. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Keyword, high grade. High grade. We got my guy, man. He trying to get his wings and, uh, you know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to get his wings, man, uh, which I'm not mad at, bro. Uh, he been out here, you know, I say gas With passing. Gas passing. Yeah, you been gas passing. Uh, not really gas passing. Oh, my bad, dude. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I mean by not really yeah. gas passing. <laughs> I just have, you know, I got to be giving you shit every, every step of the way. Uh, but he been out here gas passing, man, going hard for the, for the gang. Uh, getting ready to actually go on his first business trip. Uh, 
in place of K-Bug. Uh, so, boy, you better not fuck up. <laughs> you better, uh, you're going for K-Bug now. I'll be watching. Yeah, hold on, because you know I'm putting everything on live. I'm going to wear the signature bandana, bro, just to represent for I'll my dog. I'll make you one, bro. homie. Hey, there we go. I got you. And appreciate I got merch that. at the crib the with straight. your name on it. Thank you, bro. I appreciate yeah, that. Appreciate uh, the newest shit, that's, this is K-Book's line right here. K-Book got his it. own line. Look at you over uh, there, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. He, had, he, stepped, he stepped up. Like, I won't say he had to. He just stepped. He just was like, bro, let me uh do something real quick. I'm like, uh, all right. He said, I got you. Let me show you this shit. <laughs> Okay. So are you guys real hands on with the merch? Are you working with like local companies too to help you get it done? What's, yeah, what's in so, that process for you? Um when it comes to getting the shirts, you know, we we buy those online. Uh just because there's a <coughs> certain brand of shirts we we uh only use and I think the only like uh what is that that pan there's this fucking warehouse by my crib, but they want all this extra shit that I don't feel like giving them and doing. So I just order the shit online, you know, it's it's quicker, it's easier. We already got an account. Uh, and it's then a good the, time to be alive, man. You can make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then uh, we got, I do got uh, the people that do put the designs on there. They are local. You know, oh, okay. they, they run it out their crib. So I'm trying to that's, help them. That's XL local. That's super, super you know what local. I'm saying? Right. We're trying to help them make it, you know. There's something uh, special about a t shirt that you know the homies did it in like a garage type scenario. Oh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So look, man, they gave you the fucked up seat today. Uh, oh, I'm squeaking. That's you. Oh, dude. I think there's a lock on the bottom. We're getting the lock going. Oh, I can't oh, be trusted with this, dude. Oh man. my god. Okay, I'm gonna sit still. I'm this gonna. Is the test. I'm gonna go zen. <laughs> we test. should have to do you like I'm this. gonna go zen. I don't want to be squeaking through the whole episode. Check I mean, it out. My man's over position. here, dude. The, I love you guys. Just get the backwoods going. It's a constant, you know. Oh yeah, man. One start before I the last little, one's finished. I got a well, little squeak he, too. He I think left we can out my on. name. My yeah, name is T Rose. Just so you know. This is my man Trayvon. <laughs> <laughs> this is Trayvon. <laughs> you know how long it took me you to said know T Rose. You know how long it took me to know his first name? Like right now? Nah, like a week ago. Oh, really? <laughs> maybe like two weeks ago. Yeah, this is. I've known this guy since like fifth grade. Same thing with Sean. Yeah. This and fool, that ain't even his real this name. This fool tried to use uh, his hood name at the dispensary when we were in Vegas. <laughs> Not me. That was you. Not my name. No, Caesar. No, <laughs> because I was mad. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> you have you ever like... been into a shop that calls you by number that just says next? Like there's no, there's no organization. There's no line. You check it and they just walk out and say next. No, I can't say that I've really, I mean, so I, I kind of have a different experience at dispensaries. Like, mm. So just yeah. imagine, just imagine sitting in a, a lobby with 15 plus people and you're waiting for your turn and they're just all coming out saying next and next. You don't even know if this Everybody's guy looking at each next. other. Yeah, exactly. So like, I'll be I'm, next. I'm getting mad. I'm like, yo, I walk up to the dude. I'm like, hey, where's my place in line? He's like, what's your name? I said, Trey. He's like, uh, you're right behind Darla and Kenny. I'm like. Who Darla the and fuck Kenny? is Darla and Kenny? I'm like, first, first of, of all, <laughs> he and Steez checked in before me, so I'm like, wait a minute, where, where's, where's Jordan? Where's Steez? He's like, <laughs> I'm like, his name is Keyshawn, not Steez, fool. Like, yeah. they don't know him by Steez. Like, I was just angry, man, because we had been there for like 25 minutes already, and we had not went anywhere, and it was like, bro, come on, like, where is my place in line? I need to know now. It was alright. I, you know, we ain't had nowhere to go. I was just like, whatever. Actually, we did. We had an episode to do that day. Fuck that dispenser. You made yeah, it late. Yeah, it took us my whole time. Lucky I forgot your name. I mean, I've definitely had some really long looking experiences at dispensaries, but it, I've always looked at it from like, you know, especially feeling for the DAs in there. Sometimes those places are hustling, man. Oh, like, they're really hustling. Hey, this was in Vegas, so they were oh, they were hustling. Yeah, they were hustling. Some of those Vegas dispensaries. Trash. Right? Oh, you can say it on here. Go ahead. It's go crazy, ahead. man. I'm up, first, look at we. Let me introduce my man over here to my right. He just been over here speaking. People are probably like, who is that guy? <laughs> this is my man, Ali from High Grade. How you doing today, bro? Doing great, man. For those of you guys who don't know about High Grade, which I'm pretty sure 90% of the Valley knows about High Grade, uh, they are considered one of the uh, heavy hitters in the Valley. Like, okay, I'm, since I got you and we're being honest, you guys, 
me, I knew you more for the concentrate, right? Yeah. And now uh, you, you guys started coming out with Flower not too long ago. Um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the crazy things is we've done such a good job, I think, with keeping some quality and consistency with the extracts that that's what we've become known for. And people don't even know the process that really allows us to bring the extracts out, you know? Yeah. Um, that process is just to simplify. It's really something we call soiled oil, you know, where we've always grown great flower and strive to grow grow the best possible flower so that the extracts are just a derivative of that great flower right we're never bringing any any other material in the lab other than something that's grown down the hallway um you know in our, one of our flower rooms so that allows us to keep everything string coordinated and we've always been in the flower and it's uh it's been cool to kind of see the evolution of it you know <coughs> Um, always same same thing so you guys are doing it's cool to be you know pe like-minded people that are like grinding forward <coughs> in a positive direction right sometimes there's there's slip-ups but uh it's keeping that direction that north star you yeah. know yeah. so for sure I feel that bro yeah. okay so you say always i apologize you like you guys had your flower on the shelf for a minute yeah, we, like I said, we've, we've always really from had start. the flower from the start. It's gone I've through its had, evolution. I've had flower from them at least a year plus ago. Really? At PRC. Where the fuck have I been? Not paying attention. So, Ooh. you know, to, it's, it's interesting to recognize in the marketplace, there was a point in time, we, we started 2016, was okay. when we had our, our phase one operation rolling. Um, so... In that time, you know, the white label, it's a lot of bulk flour. You're getting that to dispensaries, and, you know, sometimes the patient, if it's not a prerogative of the dispensary, so to speak, to, like, show that this was grown this by high this, grade, this make that, you know, because you know. it's going to come in that dispensary bag if it was bulk, right? They packaged it. So sometimes that connection's not made. Um, but we're, we're in a cool time where, you know, definitely ahead of wreck and things that are going to go down, but the branding's a little bit more important, right? Yeah. Testing's going to come online. People got to trust who they're buying from. Uh, but then our flower gets represented. Now people come on, they're seeing pre-pack flower high grade, and we do get a lot of people that are like, damn, I didn't know the yeah. flower was like this. I no, thought this so was excuse extract. Me. Right? Man. Yeah, so excuse me. Uh, you guys, uh, shit, yeah. Hey, it's... it's Hold on. I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say. You guys tried their rosé that they put out. A shout out to C's. He actually <coughs> bought he the rosé. Okay. I gave him a heads up about it. Like I, like you said, people didn't know. I went to the shop and it was the first thing I seen was yeah. the rosé. The doctor FaceTimed us like, bro, did you know? Because uh, Facts. when I when I see your flower, it's priced at like twenty five, thirty bucks. You know, or it used to be, and now or still is. You know, you still got that on the on the shelf. But now you guys are coming out with shit like this. And when I say shit, I always got to warn people. I don't <laughs> no, mean no, to, no. you know, I'm just yeah, pronoun. That Jenny is like, I'm still tasting that Jenny. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's, I mean, that one's yeah. a, like the best 50 50, I think, that we grow. I think it always tests at like 29. Jenny's 30. always good, the dude, but we've had it at, this yeah. is different. Like, yes, it is. It's very smooth, bro. Did the AMF go down too? Do, have we done? Oh, yeah. That's that. That's like I said, I'm, I'm at the point creamy. where I'm a little crossed yeah. and all these I, different like stuff. Like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to give a full gas pass here, because, but yeah. these, like right now, from just from experience, these are like they're labeled 44, and I'm I could agree with that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I could agree with that to the fullest. I, I don't like we did the hang time test. You know, the shit was stick like stuck to my fingers for a good eight to ten seconds. Like the the smell is on point. That AMF smells like like not even like any kind of OG. Exactly. There's no hint exactly. of OG, but it hits and gets you yeah. lit like a OG. Yes. You know what I'm the saying? The AMF is uh, one of those strains. We also grow a Mendo breath where it's like, man, I gotta Ooh. before I smoke any of that shit, I gotta make sure I got shit done. That like, is one of my favorite strains. So are we looking for yeah. that? Those are hitters. so people we looking out for the Mendo breath by high grade. Bro, like, that's crazy because like I gotta smoke indica to get me going. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like I, I smoke and literally just sit in front of the computer and do work. Like I, indica is my go-to man. I'm not I a sativa to, dude, bro. I used to lean sativa, <laughs> but the more I've smoked and I just it really doesn't matter anymore to me if it's an indica or a sativa. I have indicas I can, that are <laughs> the know what? complete opposite of what an everything an indica should do, right? And uh, I think that comes down to terps, right? I mean, it's we all have unique genetic makeups. You know, we have uh, we all have a CBD, THC, a complete cannabinoid receptor system. So those things are going to interact and fire differently. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, uh, you know, I think too, we'll see a lot of stuff change, man. We're going to. You see know it. why I can fully agree with that statement is because 
Uh, shit. Here we go. Because I forget. <laughs> Damn, that just happened. Well, we bro. just, you know, that dude, cannabis hasn't had its due. We're so pro, okay, we're yeah. so just right out of prohibition, man. I mean, you think that if this had the time to evolve in every direction, we're seeing the evolution in the market right now with products, new things happening, different extraction methods, different levels of concentrates, right? But man, we're gonna see uh, an evolution in the science of it, right? Cause it's getting, it's gonna be able to be studied the way it should have always been studied. Facts. It's a co co-evolutionary plant and we've been only embracing it for a short period of time, man. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get very interesting. Just like, uh, you know, just like we have commonplace things that we all know about for health, right? We're gonna yeah. have, we're gonna have things mapped out in terms Yo, of terpenes. The just says, bro cannabinoids right i'm so excited when they start growing some really cannabinoid specific flower you know because yeah. people start to really understand oh like cbn cbg with thc that's my jam this is getting me where i want to be Shit, the growers bro. are going to start going boutique towards that i mean it's the we're gonna, we gotta, like a whole not, like well, time to pull the books out Kyle. Well, no <laughs> that's like i'm i get, I'm I get high I'm like i can't i'm like oh, <laughs> i'm over here trying to look like I'm i know what he's saying to learn the, i get what he's just saying just the terpene yeah names was, and what yeah. the foot yeah goes, me too because to me from what i've started to learn over the past <laughs> say two years doing this year and a half that's where that, those that terpenes are. That's what? where the flavors are. That's where the different effects really seem to come from. Yeah. And you know, to me, I want to. I want to get to the point where I can go into a dispensary and say, I want this because it's got these terpenes in it. Yeah. yeah. Or if they're doing testing for terpenes saying, hey, show me something that's got this in it. Totally. And they can actually show that to me, and I don't have to, like, guess or use the eye test yeah. now. Well, I mean, you can't even smell that, it now. People have that, like, uh, percentage thing kind of in their mind, too, you know? And Fuck the percentage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and when I, I do these butt tender educations, right, it's one of my favorite parts of the job because <laughs> I get to, like, really boots on the ground and be with, you know, butt tenders, dispensary staff, and management, and all the people that are working with patients and trying to solve their problems, exactly. you know? And uh, it's just like, you know, People come in like, oh, I need, you know, tw I need a 25% tester because, you know, I swear, was the last time I got something like that? I need that high test. That's why I, got, I had that, you know, perfect high that I want to achieve and manage my pain correctly, whatever, right? But that's not it. That's but it's no, it. it's no, like, what flower, what were, like, the top terpene profiles in the flower that you had last time? Because we want to find flower that has the same top terpene profiles. Like, that's going to interact with you at the yeah. same time. Not so much the percentage yeah. and even sp sometimes the strain. There's a lot of hybrids out there these days, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, See, that's what I was kind of like trying to lean towards and, and show you in Vegas because you can't really smell the shit. Mm. So I know like 85% of the strains that I got was because I looked at the terpene profile. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew that... I know the terpenes I don't like. I know the terpenes I like. You know what I'm saying? See, it's going to be a beautiful world when everybody has that understanding. Yeah. You know? That'll, yeah. you know, that, and that's the thing that's just like where things are going to get crazy. I mean, how beautiful is it that it now exists where literally, did any of you guys know what a terpene profile was 10 years ago? <laughs> Fuck no. Bro, I didn't even know Five what loud was. No. Yeah, I was about to say 10 years ago. Well, like, no, like, and that's I knew what, what good oh, weed yeah, smelled like, and I knew what too. weed I was not stoked about right. smoking smelled like. You yeah. know, but might still smoke I it. I didn't even but, have a med card yeah. 10 years ago. No, and that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, like, the evolution is, is really, like, and, and I'm definitely one of the people that the more I've thought about it, the more I am still kind of bummed out about wreck. But... In the bigger picture of things, it might be a little bit of a growing pain that might end up being something that opens up the doors for things that we didn't even we don't even know right yeah, now yeah. what it could be opening. I up mean, for. yeah, and like I said, shout out to just you know everybody out there in the industry working because it's been crazy times. I mean, you've been you talk about like essential, dude. Like these places have been blowing up. People have been working, especially on the manufacturing end and mm -hmm. the cultivation end. Man, people are grinding to meet demand. You know. Well, and uh, shout out, you know, like, it's, cra it's crazy, everybody. it's crazy, crazy season. I mean, mm -hmm. that, from what we've heard from everybody we've talked to, the demand has more than doubled. And probably, you probably have a better idea than that, but maybe even more than more than doubled. Yeah, and then you look at Wreck-It-Head and that's Yeah, and then, and then it's yeah, like, we were talking about, uh, we were talking about, you know, 
<clears throat> the homie earlier, you know, um, yeah, owners, especially, you know, a lot of people in a situation where, like, man, if you stop and think about rec, like, you might start getting sweaty, you know? Like, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's all good, though. Like you said, it's shit's going to happen. You know, we got to roll with the punches. Like, you know, as long as everybody's kind of on their own path and doing their best and making their voice heard and calling things out that need to be called out, stuff like that, as everybody's on that path, we'll get through I'll it all, you know? Exactly. I'll, I'll tell you right now, people ain't going <laughs> to yeah. be able to. Uh, go and return this all this weed they've been returning that's probably gonna get shut down real fast yeah, yeah. these weed returns which is cool to me because I feel like I mean like listen I've never returned weed in my life I've never, ever. Yeah. I've ever. never had the opportunity never. I I've never have, even thought about it I I've, have. I've thought man I wish I could take this yeah, back and get my have. money back but I've only, never ever, it's ever only once. made the call <laughs> only once <laughs> And I know you have too. Yeah, what were you saying? Though? Never returned weed. Oh, you didn't have to return it. I've never. They like, just replaced it. No, nah, here's the thing. Like, if I get a batch of weed I don't like, like, I just write about it yeah. in the most respectful way possible, and don't buy it again. That's how you get weed off the shelf. Is stop buying it. Cause listen, I've talked to a few different owners, right, and they say that some of the stuff they have to, like, have to exchange the weed out for is like why would you like finding a seed in a in a $50 strain yeah. and that's like finding the golden that's ticket that's like a golden nugget you know what I'm saying like that's let's see what happens let's see what happens what we got here, yeah. we got here? Yeah. one seed is good but if I find like five or six oh, yeah. seeds okay. in a $50 oh, yeah. bag if we I have an issue feel listen, like listen I said one there's a lot of seed weight going on <laughs> see, yeah. we, I, have, a, uh, I have an issue yeah, I'm not that, tripping off any one or two seasons. Not like a torn bag. package, you know. Torn package, I'll, dude. Yeah, I get that shit. Uh, but like, when I, uh, damn, I, I just, I just can't see why people complain about the weed that they've spent like twenty five to thirty dollars. Oh no, you, that's not you know, like, no, nah, I'm not even talking. About <laughs> I'm just, I got, I'm looking at you because you're right in front of me. I'm <laughs> not talking about. I'm just saying, like, in general, I've seen it on in in that uh, Facebook group. It was just crazy. It's just I've never crazy. seen that. If I and the Earl Cup one, really hard. Yeah. yeah, that one is just crazy. You just see some stuff and you're just like, "What? Like, what is this really about? Yeah. What is really wrong?" And then, but that's the thing to though too. I mean, it's about something. So at the end of the day, like I know from our perspective too, and my perspective is like, dude, if we get like we want to just like let's make your day better, man. Like any oh, yeah. any issue, you know. Um, I have respect for it because like. Dude, us, even as a business, you know, like, if somebody is not satisfied with what they get, I want to replace that. You know, I come from the food industry, but, you know, I went to culinary school. Hospitality is, like, yeah. drilled into my head, True. right? Yeah, it's so, important. Like, you, know, you should make, like, I was thinking about it, man, like, because um, I, I worked in the hospitality industry. I worked at restaurants as well, man, and I was, like, I'm, like, in my head, I'm going to my kids need to work in this in service industry like that yeah. it teaches you so much it teaches you how to be humble Dude. and like, about like how to keep your temper under control like there's some times like bro you get some shit sent back you're like fam for real fam you know and then there's some like oh shit <laughs> My mistake, you but know? like, like I said, man, I mean, but that's coming of, from a place like, yeah. man. Hope, ho I hope that any out of any act of anything, like your day gets better, you know, yeah, like yeah. whatever, whatever the issue. You just really flipped it. Is, Look, I'm know? gonna throw the steak back on the you grill. You have a good day. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna throw the steak back on the grill for you. I'm yeah, throwing always. a little dessert on the house, yeah. and let's make your day better. Yeah. You know, and that's I did that yesterday, man. Like I, I forgot a box of this chick's cupcakes, right? But luckily, I took extra with me. So she was supposed to get 18 and ended up getting like, what, 24? Like, hey. well, actually, so she, was only, cover it, though? she yeah. was only supposed to get 12 because she only wanted half because she hasn't ordered my cupcakes in a while. And I kind of upgraded something. And uh, <clears throat> she didn't like how the Reese's one tastes. So I was like, OK, you know, I'll redo your order. And I'll just make them the classic way I used to make them. Right. Mm -hmm. And she was just expecting to get. Reese's and I was like no 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 I redid your entire order you know here you go it's on me you know and then I f forgot you're sick so here's another 12 so she ended up getting like 24 cupcakes and was like are you serious right now yeah, and I was like yeah like 
here you go. Dude, that's man. like a, that's a, what do you call it? Like, it's like a generosity bomb. You know? Ended Those up, are dope. And ended up leaving with a little cash, you know? Like, she gave me a tip. And I was like, you know, I didn't expect to get any money from that. And it, it ended up in making both of our day, you know? Because yeah. I was mm-hmm. just like, Phew. I always get satisfaction just seeing people's faces when they eat my stuff. But, like, to see her unexpectedly getting her entire order redone yeah. and then her order doubled, She's like, yo, this, I'll be back. And she's a long, you know, she's a long time customer. So. Dude, we're uh, my daughter's birthday's coming up, so uh, you know, I gotta figure out the cupcake order. Like, don't let me forget. Like, you know, what do we gotta do? I, should I got my, down. yeah, I got my my Facebook page, man. Seven Ten Sweets, mm-hmm. just like the date, zero seven one zero. I need the multi pack. I need, <laughs> I need every kind of cupcake you want to make. Ah, she needs the That's variety too hard, pack, though, right? No, so make, listen, you I do have like three a day, right? I do, yeah. So I, I allow people to do like three flavors per dozen, Makes right? Sense. I have twenty flavors. Twenty. Twenty. You got a twenty flavor menu? Yeah. Dude, you're gonna blow up in the cupcake game in some incredible way. I feel like. Listen, I hate to oh, do yeah. this on the show. I, I feel but this momentum I, behind these cupcakes. My, boy is my competition cold with the cupcakes. left a nice little hate ass snapchat video Uh-oh. when and the only reason why i can't see it is because i'm blocked but one of my customers sent it you're to blocked? me blocked yeah he blocked me oh damn it's that deep this is the cupcake wars cupcake <laughs> wars for <laughs> real, this is for real. <laughs> he used to be Dude. my friend too man. excuse me i'm just so it's unaware dope. and this is crazy don't, I'm don't excited. Be, bro it's just you know oh. it, it's crazy uh because he left that video and he's like you know your cupcakes are good when you have other people trying to replicate them and and you know you got the Gucci, and they're over here selling the knockoff Gucci for three times cheaper than your product. He's like, huh. and like immediately, like I know that to me because I'm the only one because I did it intentionally. <laughs> you know, like I, at first I started with doing my own flavors. Like I took one, which is the strawberry crunch one, his number one seller, and I, I took that okay. and I made it better. And then I was like, okay, I did that. Now let me kind of focus on doing my own thing real quick, right? And then people started comparing us. And I was like, at first I didn't like that. Like, I was like, fuck that, stop. But then I was like, okay, if you want to compare us, I'll give you a reason to compare us. And started making all the cupcakes he did, but with my own twist, right? You know, because that's, if you guys didn't know, that's how business works. Look at every fast food restaurant you go to. Hostile takeover. You know what I'm saying? Everything is a dichotomy, right? It's like. Nothing is, like, okay, it's hard to find somebody that is the originator of this thing, right? It's hard to find that. That is facts. Because somebody takes an idea that somebody did and is like, I can do that, but I can do that better. Yeah, you build mm-hmm. off each other's You know work, what I'm saying? Right? It's like, exactly. you know. Because he's going to see something I do and he's mm-hmm. going to be like, I can do that. You yeah. know, and it's going to keep going, everything, right? Yeah. And like, I gave, like, at first I was like real bitter about it because I wanted to have a cupcake. So wait, were you guys doing some secret shopper scenarios and shit? No, like ordering no. each other's cupcakes? Were you I used to buy like, off of him. Oh, okay. He used to be my friend. Okay, okay. okay. So I was going to culinary school, right? Yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is while I was still in school. Oh, and we okay. were friends and shit, you know? I got you. I haven't known him. Like, like what he culinary used, school? Uh, I, Australia Mountain. Oh, okay. They have a culinary program. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, My wife is an incredible cook. And yeah? I just can't. I'll tell you this. Tell her to not, like, really... She doesn't have to waste her time to go to school. She, if she already has it. She's just naturally yeah. like, dude. And like, I want to say that I could do that, but I'm like, oh man. Bro, yeah, I was going to say, if like, you were talking about her going, like, nah, she, if you already have it, like, culinary school that I noticed is for people that have a little bit of talent that want to get it better or learn like the basic knife skills. Like, that, that was me, right? I want to learn how to cut okay. and learn like the temperatures and technique, right? Fundamentals. Cause, yeah, because I knew how to cook. But I just I remember had, like fingertips in. Yeah, you know, yeah. make the make the claw, right? Yeah, hold the a, claw. Kind of hold your knife like a, like a pencil, you know, you yeah, use your yeah. wrists and shit, right? Yeah. Learn that shit, you know? Uh, and I always thought I wanted to be a cook, but then I got into like, I got into the baking part, bro. And I saw all the color and shit. You got bit by the baking bug. Bro, I would, and I would go into class high as fuck all <laughs> yes. the time. Dude, because yes. I remembered from yeah. from uh, my cooking classes, like, bro, we at least get to eat. You know? we. So with baking, we're going to at least get to eat. Right? And I, and I looked at... You don't at, even eat your shit now. You know, I don't eat it now. But, <laughs> what, but, is that just like overload? Like, no, it's just it like I, I know... Like, I already know what it tastes like. Oh, okay. I, like, I let the fans... Like, the fans fuck. The customers do the the real taste test you know what i'm saying like because to me 
Well, every every time you probably read something about a specific cooker, you probably like get a little taste of that. You know, oh, somewhere yeah. in it, you're like, yeah, yeah right. I know that. If I, I'm I know watching that. somebody do something or smell something, I'm like, yo, that smell. I think that's why I do the gas pass it so well because my my tongue is trained ah, yeah. for for those tastes like to recognize those Dude, terpenes there's, yeah there's this uh fucking institute i think it's called the terpene institute but yeah it goes into like it's basically trying to create you know like how small are of wine you know See? Um, what's this he has this crazy badass term for it uh interpreter I think it's an interpreter. I like that. Something like that. <laughs> uh, but dude, it's like you're you got that on the natch, right? Like yeah. you're you know. And then the effects, like I do we just we love smoking weed and like I think we got to the point to where it's like we recognize what certain weeds do. We mm-hmm. recognize like what should be priced at this point. You know, like and that and again, like we're not saying we're pros or experts, like or that any brand should Base their price off but what we're you, saying. When you're Not an active all. consumer participating at a certain level, yeah. you, that is what constitutes an expert. Well, I, I would say connoisseurs. Connoisseurs. Yeah. Cannabis connoisseurs. We're all, yeah, dude, shout out to every connoisseur out yeah, there, Yeah, no, we're for trying real. To, yeah. Trying, to get the, trying to get it right. Yeah, so, always. But the ones that are biased, you guys are. <laughs> you smoked 100,000 blunts? Right. I mean, I smoke. I can say yeah, because I've smoked at least twenty eight worth and in how, one. How many cupcakes? Mm-hmm. Jeez. How many cupcakes? Lifetime. What's the number? Bro, let's just expert. put it this way. Expert. <laughs> expert. <laughs> expert. I buy the <clears throat> the the liners in a packs of five hundred. Right. Oh, shit, you're getting that wholesale. Wholesale. Yeah, good right? cost. Like just a, like probably a week ago, I bought a thousand, and I've. Probably am almost out of my first 500. Wow! Like it goes down, bro. So you're he goes in. I bake. So I can you're, say you're making a couple thousand a month. It goes down. That's, it goes down. That's and that's only a few days a week, cause like my kid has school, my lady's doing her her schooling, and like I'm also trying to juggle this yeah. and the in the clothing brand. Like you know we have a lot going on, and now we're getting ready to start traveling. You know, so it's like. So you said OKC is next? Is yeah, yeah. yeah We're getting ready to dip. Damn, this is about to be supposed to be about you, man. Stop asking me so much. I'm oh, just man. kidding. I'm, I'm, just, all, no. I'm just all interested. <laughs> He's interviewing us. Going on. Yeah, I'm like, bro. You got shit going on. Why, here, let's trade yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take <laughs> the squeaky seat. No, nah, man. I, no, for real. I appreciate you asking, bro. Like, because I guess this is one of those times where I can really relish on the moment right like take it all in talking about it with you guys so about time <laughs> <laughs> um no go butter right yeah. uh travis he's uh they they're expanding out in okc you know they're working on some brands they already have launched and he has a lot of connections out there. Are they carrying the Nuggo Butter brand? They're just no. rebranding? Yeah, rebranding. Same uh, solventless? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bell's going to go out there. I think Bell goes out there, presses, or it, I don't know the whole story. I can't remember. He was on here and talked all about it. So we can rewind and listen another time. And I'll, we'll talk about it the next time. <laughs> I'll give you that backstory. Okay, word. Um, we just did that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all I know is he mentioned something about taking a bell to okc so she can do a live pressing show and i was like that sounds dope i would love to cover that and he's like all right then you should come and i thought he was kidding right so we talked to him outside and he's like i'll get you guys all arranged and he wasn't fucking kidding he got us arranged flight uh hotel and then we're going to do a, a live podcast from a dispensary that's opening on the first mm-hmm. out in okc and then we're supposed to be going to different dispensaries to gas pass and then we have a a tour set up for a grow that's owned by a lady, a black lady, to be because uh, you know they all need the credit. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Especially our our queens, man. You know, yeah, they all need that credit. So uh, she was also a college basketball player. No so, shit. You know, an ex athlete yeah. out here doing the thing. Mm-hmm. So you know, shout out, shout out to the women. Breaking, um, break the stigma. It's oh, yeah. Shout out to our, our black time, women because, you know, that's an extra barrier. I'm not trying to take anything away from, from the women, but we all know, man, like, it's, it's hard out here right now, especially yeah, super. In, in, yeah. in the history. But shout out to all the women, like, out there fucking grinding. I, I don't even just talking about in this industry, like, the marijuana one. I'm talking about Everywhere. in general. All across the globe. Like, you guys... 
Y'all got your y'all got t- your time. Shout out all the coming, babies, man. mamas, mamas. But the, yeah, that's the thing. Mamas, 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 mamas. mamas, mamas. Yeah. No, yeah, but like, you know, that's so important. You lay in the path, right? For for one black woman growing like that, how many more is she inspiring? There, she's laying a path that more are gonna walk down a little bit easier, so they can branch out themselves. You know, you know what I'm saying? Shout that's out Steve. some that's some cool shit, man. That's how it is. How uh, I heard. I mean, Oklahoma, I know, is just going off. You know? I uh, I heard the because they know so. Crazy. I yeah. hope Dude, so. You, you got Bro, the money, you can buy. I heard it was like seven thousand for a license Dude. out there. Wait, whoa, or, whoa, whoa. they have so many licenses so. open. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't want to. I heard some that, back checkable. Listen, thing, but. do not quote me because this is barber chair talk, right? This is barber chair talk. Right. Quotes. Right. right. From the On homie. the record. From the homie. <laughs> all right. Channel six. Not even my own. I don't even know this guy like that. Okay? <laughs> well, this guy, this I guy, seen yeah, him yeah, at the, yeah, I seen at the bus stop. So he seen me over nah. here. I walked by. I'm gonna just call him the homie because my barber cuts out of his crib only for like special people, and me and him got that special privilege. So <laughs> because of that that privilege, we're homies, right? All right, all right. So the homie told <laughs> he told me it was like low, low, like somewhere like in the like easy thousands like bro i can make that off of like three weeks of cupcakes like that easy damn to get a license in okc and people are literally just going out there open getting licenses starting grows and then coming back home like it's that easy and i was like i was like oh we're going to okc that sounds in uh, september very much uh like we yeah, should check it out. Let's check it out. You guys got to yeah, I'm excited. You do a little investigating. What kind of experience that is you guys have out there. We have none, but we're going to go. But uh, no, what, <laughs> I'm zero. talking about like what you're going to collect is oh. going to be very interesting. Oh, yeah. oh. We're going to come back with all the knowledge. We, oh, we got to show. I'm yeah. going out there with the K-Book bandana, man. You know how, how much knowledge I'm finna just soak up? Well, I mean, you with better grow some dreads. <laughs> you got to get rid of it. I prefer the dreads over that. I'm going to get it twisted. <laughs> To get some to be twisted like dreads. How many oh, years in, in to your dreads? I'm gonna be T bug. Almost two. That's Damn. two years. Almost. That looks like. Longer. Well, I had gr- I had grown retwist, my huh? hair for like two years before I twisted them, and then I twisted them in November like two years ago, right okay. before I started on the show. So in this November, it'll be two years. You guys years. are coming up on your two-year Annie. Yeah, man. What are you doing for that? What are you doing? I don't know. Let's hang out. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's get high. Whatever you do, invite Let's me. Let's get high with high grade. Let's we'll get high some... with high grade. We'll figure that it sounds, out. We can't, that sounds like a beautiful catchphrase. Can't we can't really, really right? sesh. Like, get we can't go to any grade. events, but we could probably come here. Keep it of course. Key. We could figure something out. We can figure something out for sure. But I would definitely uh, like to do some gas passes for you guys. Yeah, on your weed, awesome. especially Most this. Definitely, I'll tell you that Jenny had me stupid coughing yeah, over here. Yeah, I'm trying to think actually. like, I, I was like, do we want to give you something like new coming up? Do yes. One of the favorites that we've had, like something yeah. that you want, like, what do you lean to? What do you want to try? Something Anything like that. that doesn't Anything. have lemony. Of course. Oh, oh nothing yes. with lemony. And no orangey. Okay. I hate lemony. No orangey or lemony. I know. I definitely know what to stay away from then, for sure. Forbidden fruit, no boy, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Forbidden anything, tropical anything. Oh yeah, no tropical. Maybe no even, fruit, nothing. Just no yeah, fruit. I no, no, I like fruit. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm shit. not as against any of those. Things. Okay, <laughs> let me not sound fucking so bougie and ungrateful right now. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke. Like I said, I've never, ever, ever, ever returned to weed. I, I'm trying to like think. I'm really trying to think of the weed that I don't one like. One time, just like, I just I There's hate forbidden fruit. Yeah, what do you like to smoke, man? Let's get back to Dude, you, that's man. That's what I'm trying to like. What don't I like is hard to really come to. You like forbidden fruit? I mean, I'll fucking I, smoke the shit out of forbidden I fruit. Feel, like, I feel, you know? like, I'll I feel like I smoke it, but I will hate it, yeah, bro. I if, if I have a wide enough selection in front of me at any given time, I can smoke a little bit of anything. Just for a flavor change. Yeah, for I got sure. that going What's on. Your in my favorite will, strains to go to. I will go. To. I will go towards like gassy strains. My so guy, sure. thank you. you Welcome know, to always. the bakery. Thank you. Welcome always. to you are the officially, bakery. Always. You are officially in. official. Like and, uh, OG Kush. That's uh, anything that's, OG. I mean, you know, I love OGs, but um, yeah, I did the, you know, they're just the gassy terps on. And, you know, Hemlock is one that mm. I've had from mm. a few different places, but actually I actually had Hemlock once in Cali and. It's like the best of like a funky gassy, but also, I mean, I know you're not a lemony guy, but it's got like almost like a Jack Herrera terp on it too. That's mm. got a little bit of that. So it's like, ooh, super sneaky. I can sneaky. stand, I can stand like that, that citru- uh, citrusy finish. 
I can't. Ju- I just hate it. The blast up front. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I like just like that. That gas with that little bit of like, like, like you know, because it gets your taste buds, you know, going. Like, I like the little tingle. I, yeah. I like I like the gas on the front end with a little sweetness on the. On yes. The exhale. Wedding cake. See, will, Gelato. Ice cream cake. You all about the cakes. Yeah, I like all the all the gassy, funky, pungent stuff. GMO, you know, stuff like that. Have you guys, I'd die for GMO. Have you guys had Grease Monkey? Yeah. Yes. That, that's one of our uh, stuff you like did a that. Ga- did you do a gas pass on on a Grease Monkey? It's our. It's one of our highest viewed videos yeah. on YouTube. It's at like seven hundred. Stinky. That's it. beautiful. It was. Grow scientist, grease monkey, and a uh, harvest. Whoever grows harvest, we. It was like on harvest is super top. That premium. was probably Mingo our breath. grease monkey. Oh, where? Motor breath. Those gassy. Bro, I'll strings, tell you bro. right now. <laughs> that harvest was better than the grow science. Where? Dude, I, I mean, I don't. I can't. I mean, we 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 have to match the. It was wide. A, so it goes back to that white label conversation we were talking about earlier back in the day. It was in the harvest know? bag. It was probably like. I would say <laughs> maybe a year ago, like around a year ago. Yeah. Part of me, I'm gonna, I'm kind of sad that like, I think in the future, like no deli style dispensaries are really gonna exist, especially like with COVID and then, you know, it's just pre-packed is gonna be everything with testing and all the shit. But it makes, that does, there's a part of me that sleeps good at night that like we, you know, we could represent like that. You know, well, people know, always know, you know. That's, that's what happened in uh, Cali uh, or in probably in Nevada too, all the, the rec states, they they have to sell their weed in pre-packed. They have to. It's a, if, yeah. it, if it's, if it doesn't come pre-packed, that dispensary is like illegal, basically. I mean, just think of like if the FDA was involved, you have a federal regulation change, like the FDA is involved. Well, it's like shit that you buy at a fucking pharmacy. You know, it's like everything's. You know, you don't buy something that's been tampered with, right? No, so, I can I can go buy granola out of the barrel. Yeah, and for peanuts sh- and shit, for and sh- candy. For sure. I mean, maybe there, maybe there's always own be risk. a place for that. Uh-huh. At your Bulk? own risk. That's funny. I'm down with the bulk at the grocery store too, man. Like sprouts and shit. Yeah, dude, that's the move. You know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now that we thought, dog, now that y'all like kind of low key mentioned that, I'm like, damn. I always have to stop my kids from putting their hands in that. I wonder about the parents that don't. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. Are you serious, bro? Damn. All my kids touch nothing at the grocery store. Why do you think store? my immune system so fucking? We don't just. Yeah, it's funny. We don't just. Like we nothing. don't even take the kids to the grocery store anymore. That's just been a hard no. We it's work like, around I it. I tell my girlfriend not to like give my kids like the like free fruit that they have for kids at the store. Oh hell no. Nah. That Sorry. shit's in a casing though. I nah, let my that kids get that. Be just wide open. Bro. Yeah, the apples. But the the bananas and the oranges, like shit, I'd be like, kids, fuck it up if it's gonna keep you cool for the trip. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fruit. You foolish. So yeah. the worst that's gonna happen is you don't get the shits. Um, <laughs> my, yeah, my son would be touching everything in yeah, the store. Mine too. That's why they both <laughs> get phones. <laughs> it's Starbucks. Those uh-huh. those phones. Starbucks. Sometimes the phone the is just like a little concentration station. That's all like, it is, I dude. Need, I ain't making Starbucks. Throw on some blippy real quick. What? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, some so my dude, look, robots. I got a real question for you. How long you been doing this stuff for high grade? Cause you're very well. You're just really knowledgeable in this. I would it come from? Okay, how long you been? I can't, I can't ask you six questions well, at once. No, I mean, uh, um, my high. Ass. I mean, how 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 long have I loved cannabis for for a long time? You know, I think uh, you know people have that experience in high school. That's what just led me for high grade specifically. I've been with them for two years now, coming up. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We are all about to celebrate something, man. Yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting, right? It's like everybody too is kind of having these you know celebrations at the same time because everybody kind of kicked off at the same time. Yeah. Things doing real good. Everything was just. Um, so it's funny people on the same timelines. I have that experience with a lot of people. That was and dope. They got a lot of shit popping right now. I think I hit you guys up before back in the day. How long ago? It was our beginning stages of life. So oh, so geez. two years ago about. Probably for our one year anniversary. So Probably man, it's crazy. When, when I came into high grade, the the like development and the teams that we've built and we run pretty lean right for the scale that we're able to do you know over 90 dispensaries across the state and damn you know, service damn. service you know in some capacity every corner of the state you know and we do it with a like i said a small lean like dedicated hard working crew it's it's been crazy to see the transition in two years um you know i started off um, doing wholesale form, but um, transitioned out of that when I just kind of took control of the marketing stuff and was able to bring that in house. So um, it's been a different angle on it, and 
it's part of the industry professionalizing. Everybody's doing that a little bit. You see all the dispensaries you're going to, you know, hopefully are, uh, you know, benefiting from that and upgrading and professionalizing, building their teams and all that. But dude, in that two years, man, it's been wild. It's been really crazy. And the next two are going to be even, even crazier. Man, know? it would seem like you've been working there for years, years, the way you represent and how you just, how, like you said, so knowledgeable on the entire brand, man. It's like you were working there for like 50 years, dude. Like, I swear. Well, thanks, man. I mean, appreciate that. I mean, I just, we try to all be, we're hands on with, you know, what we're doing. Um, you know, one of my jobs is, you know, training people that go out and interact with patients. Mm -hmm. That's why, uh, you know, we're finding new ways to do that as an industry because of COVID and everything. Um, but we're excited to get back to doing that because, like, that's what everybody needs is more education, more kind of hands-on interaction, you know, welcome people and understanding of the product. Like we were talking about earlier, you know, there's been such a long time where cannabis hasn't got a full kind of knowledge perspective. And right. That's what, you know, blood tenders got to do every day, you know. You got to yeah. work with people, try to give them the best experience. Those are the best ones that do it, you know. Yeah, because if I ever worked in a shop, I definitely would love to work in the weed industry, of course. But if I ever worked in a shop or when it comes to when the You're industry where I want to go. Why do you say that, man? Because you're gonna have uh, affiliation with us. Oh, you know what? I, pretty much what I've said as far as where I would want to go in, in the weed uh, industry before my weefu pulled me in and start taking these karate lessons. Um, I wanted to be, you know, just somebody in the shop as far as a bud tender. I wanted to like to work hands on with the people. I yeah. want to let them know what they're smoking, what's bad product, what's good product, what are they going to be looking for. As you said, what are they tasting like? What do they want to? What what are they looking for in their in their their medicine, man? Now that you say all that, I'm thinking like it might be a good idea to have one of us in a dispensary. Uh, like, duh! Are you kidding That's me? That's great, dude. Especially I go to every you, shop I go selling in, the, I'm selling going, the hell out of weed. Well, man. I go to shops every day, and every time I'm going there, yo, Hippie Chronicles, have you heard of us? Or man, so, 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 yo, like, we, I just hey, told listen, him, they're asking us about the lava cake, and I'm like, if I'm we being honest, that. yo, selections. <laughs> so my selections, um, what are my selections on Crossing? Okay, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, okay. are we gonna get into like okay. specific selections? Okay. Are you allowed to go wrong? Like, can you really go wrong now with Grow Science on any kind of recommendation? I've been, but I have. How long you have, have I been preaching preaching Grow Science? You've been trying to get job. me on True Infusion, right? And in, so far, they're like one for three. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! That's the three. other way around, if I'm correct. No, because I told you the other day. <clears> since we're gonna get into it on. On the show, oh. <laughs> the well, other well, day, uh, the only fire I've ever got was that SFV. That that's, that wasn't true food. That's that uh, was true. That's, oh, that was, how, how you gonna tell me I bought it from True? Like it was. Oh, you're talking about True. Uh, True, true man. True man. Yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. you meant true infusion. Okay, oh no, my yeah, I, I, yeah, gotta, I keep bad. forgetting. There's some. Truth, yeah, there's a lot of truth. Yeah, yeah. true, true, <laughs> true med. I got almost every. Hey, of course, like I thought no, you were talking about master, master Kush. No, no, I'm talking about SFV. the SFV from, from true, true med. med. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but Ben, look, hey, nah, they, I've they had have some, been. I've had some beautiful flowers. I'm just gonna go out and say it, man. But here's the thing: I didn't say it was ugly. Yeah. All their weed is beautiful. Okay. Hey, my favorite shop. But I'm just going to say it right now. I'm just going to go out and say it, man. They have been slipping on me. And it hurts They're the my perfect heart. So like, I haven't been in a while. I'm haven't like their biggest fan. True. They're, They're a like, perfect the example fan. of like a <laughs> grow or a, a dispensary that should have a tier system. That's like, because I understand they do tier system, but with third party flower. Yeah. I think they should put their weed on a tier system and not just sell it all at 50 to 55 because Facts. it looks good. Mm. Facts. Because I've or seen what, stuff that was on I got their you. promos. So they have to kind their... of address the spectrum. Yeah, of what that candy rain, right? It yeah. looked Man, phenomenal. It looked amazing. But it did not, like, I would not pay $50 Didn't for smack. that. Not you know, at all. But they the white gold, I did tell Steve, the white gold is official. I'm going to have to cop that. I'm gonna bring it to your crib. That platinum bubba, dude. I've had their Doctor Who. It's it's it's, um, we, it's amazing. It's amazing. I smoke their Doctor, Doctor Who is amazing. I love it. It's a, we grow a Doctor Who, and theirs has like a, such a different kind of contrast, which is so interesting. You Man, know? I I'm telling you, they make gas. They have fire. It's just that. I don't know what it is. I think it's I think it's the COVID. It was just the COVID hit, man. They had to just walk. Everybody has to wait outside, and the flowers just been. They went like through a super Bro, drought with their Bro, top great, shelf flowers. Bro, great like, weed ain't super easy, drought. Bro, I know it. Ain't. Yeah, I know weed, it. Ain't. Yeah. So that's, why, that's why I give them slack every time yeah. because I've never had a problem for it. As, as long as I've had my card, I've never had a problem with coming from True, ever. Even when I had a bag that had like five seasons, this 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 shit was fire. But like. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Damn, you better be getting a cut, dude. 
He ain't getting no credit. <laughs> yeah, out here flexing true. No, uh, get, flex. get back outside. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. my dogs, man. Bro, <laughs> they they just been slipping, man. No, so okay, I'm yeah. calling them out, and they just been slipping, dude. They just been slipping. You know, it's, it's crazy, too. We, we, we grow in a crazy, hot environment, man. You, I feel for people out there everywhere trying to cope growing weed. Fucking 120 Man. degrees outside, you know. It's it's a it's a challenge. But that's why I'm glad we got y'all you know, here because when I seen y'all at Nirvana TV, which is five seconds away from my house, I was like, you already said I FaceTimed him, like, yo, they got fifty dollar hybrid at the shop right now. The Hold rose. On, you talking about the rose, right? The rose, Doctor Who. I think he has some Gonzo. We yeah, said, Dr. what Gonzo. the fuck? What the high grade <laughs> selling weed for fifty dollars now? Hold up, I need that right now. Give me that. Yeah. Jeez, get this. Buy it, please. Yeah, I, I'm, I can't wait for the gas pass. We're going to need some special ones. Like, Listen, I'm excited. We got this hazmat OG I was about to out. say, because oh, you said what? something. You I've said never something. Never. That. never. So what, what's that? Um, you know, I don't even know the whole genetics on it, but am I, I'm, I'm starting to get pictures. When, when shit really starts coming out of pheno test that looks beautiful, we start to see growers getting excited about it. Um, you, you know, know me. It's like, man, it, it, enough what time of the day. I wish I could out, devote man. so much to just being on top of, like, what's coming up, what's looking great. Uh, but yeah, so you start to hear these whispers, and you know I've heard so many people talk about this hazmat. I got a couple pictures, yeah. So um, what else y'all got coming? Y'all got some other stuff. Um, I just actually got another round of uh, some pictures I was looking through, sent from one of our, uh, you know, our director <laughs> cultivation. Shout out to uh, Shout Boss out to the Buds. Director. Shout out to Boss Man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Lee, he uh, <laughs> was talking about this forum Girl Scout cookie. Yes. The forum cut. Um, yes, baby. Gosh, a white Tahoe I know is looking really good. Um, that white Tahoe is good, probably going to come out and, and be dropping a big pack. And we go back to that thing is, is you know, growing <coughs> cannabis across the board when you're dealing with a lot of different strains and a lot of different genetics. It's, yeah, it's, it, you got to really be on top of a lot of different stuff. Each one of those rooms is like a micro ecosystem in itself, man. Some of those ladies are happy. Certain strains specifically are happy next to other ones, you know, mm. different parts of the room. Like it's, it's very interesting where each strain kind of likes, you know. We know, like, for instance, we have... them broads together. Dude, so, <laughs> it's so like... It's just, <laughs> you know, a trip in here. Right, for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, but it's interesting. We have, like, phase one. That was where we first operated out of, right when we started in 2016. Which is 2019, oh, we finished phase two. So, basically, phase one is all these kind of shorter... Uh, I say shorter. They're still great-sized rooms where phase two is like a steroid version of it right it's like basically a direct mirror same amount of grow rooms essentially but they're all just much higher ceilings many more lights <laughs> so it's interesting to see you know how the cultivators and, and and all of our people are able to figure out okay these strains are really going to do well here these ones do really well here these growers have a great control of this room they really know how to work this one great okay. so it's 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 awesome man sometimes we'll get certain strains and we know we're coming from some certain rooms and we're like Ooh, i can see people yeah. fighting for that certain room like yeah. oh man we grow with it we're going to keep this room no, but we're still gonna OG, in there. OG was good in that room we need that room but the whole name of the game is to try to keep it consistent <laughs> You know, to, so that patients know what they're gonna get. You're gonna spend that money and know exactly that what you're buying. That is is the <laughs> thing that I'm really starting to look for because yeah. I am kind of a strain hunter where I'll try a new one every time over trying something I've already tried. But I'm also now getting that more appreciation. Sometimes you need I what you need. You one. know, yeah. And, push. and I know <laughs> yeah, that if I'm looking at like, eh, I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want this. This one I want. And See? and the consistency no is starting to be better. It's no problem. Yeah. And it is and there was a time sure. where I didn't feel <laughs> even comfortable with like, oh, I've had this before, so it's gonna be good again. <laughs> Because I've got it again. You still feel like you're rolling the dice. (laughs) Right. Because it's been like, man, the last time I had that, that smacked me, and this did nothing. (coughs) Oh, shit. Yeah, man. (coughs) That's what I'm saying. It's it's exciting times ahead, because everything is going to get better. Everybody's working hard. Everybody's doing their thing. Um, Striving for high levels. Cool to have industry leaders out there. You know, you guys got some great sponsorship that's doing great things. You know, we want to keep being out there, being an industry leader, trying to... Bring the biggest value to patience, man. You know what you're getting. Woo! Get the heat. Damn diamonds, baby. Yeah. Dosey. Oh, you got the diamonds we, uh, on Oh, shit. We, we, we love the diamonds that we're able to make right now because they make the terpenes, man. All the, all the sauce cartridges and the uh, sauce carts and day trippers we're doing, um, they're all derivatives of the terpenes that we harvest off our diamonds, you know? Bro, I cannot catch it. 
<laughs> I'm trying to catch it. I swear I'm trying to catch it. Because uh, I know we in a pandemic right now. And I want I'm dead. Like, I'm straight. Yeah. It's the diamonds, bro. Yeah. Woo, that's dosy diamond sauce. Dosy dose. You see that? Bro. See, like, that's an indica right there, man. That that doesn't, that picks me up, man. I don't know what it is about that strain, but that one is not an indica to moi, you know what I mean? That shit tastes phenom. Yeah. How'd you just, you just took a, did you cold start that? What cold was start. That's my, my preferred man. method, bro, you know? I've really done that, too. If I'm using a banger, that's what I'm doing. That you know? shit is. <laughs> yeah, that's. Especially, like, solventless, too. Like, uh, I, I have a hard, you know, I'm not, it's hard to, like, hot start those because to temper, find the right temperature and not, you know, mess the nice rosin up. Like, you want to be gentle with it, you know? Yes, you do. Yeah. Especially, like. Yeah, and I want to taste it, and I don't want it to singe my lungs. Totally, dude. You don't want to burn those terps off, you know? I think the terps are, like, the first thing to go, you know? Yeah, you'll still get a bunch of, you know, cannabinoids. You'll get high from a hot rip, but, like, you too much taste and you'll also be coughing for like a week yeah <laughs> for real for real oh uh, yeah. yeah but I but also <coughs> shout out shout out to the people that <coughs> still love doing that because it is exciting i can't partake too too often but you know people who love shatter love these hot ass dabs it's awesome what's your favorite Sweet. strain you guys grow dude i um brought a blueberry shortcake because it's just one of my all-time favorites forever man do you guys got that in flower um, like, yeah, we do grow it in flower. Um, we're gonna be coming out with a new blueberry strain though. Uh, that yeah. Um, See, I, I like that kind of fruity. Like I like yeah. I like like strawberry fruity. I like uh, I like that candy taste. Like I like sweet shit. I'm just not you like the sugar, not, not the not citrus. The citrus. Yeah, yeah, citrus isn't my jam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the citrus does get you all like in the nose, yeah. man. Makes you sneeze, dude. <laughs> you know, makes like, you sneeze like a motherfucker. It can happen. And then that that pine I'm not a fan but of that. Because it's funny, on no, totally I opposite, I love pine. that sweet pink. I like pine. I yeah, like pine. pine. I all my OGs. Yeah. It tastes like pine. OG is not. That's why I love super. Like it, it's more of uh, th that cushy. Uh, what is it, mercy, mercy, Mer mercy, yeah. carfenoline as well. It's peppery, right? Um, yeah, you'll get some peppery, but um, mercy and then um, uh, there's also one that um, I always cross between the other. But yeah, um, mercy especially, man. I mean, I think that one specifically, the pining feeling as well, can really uh, like. I remember somebody explaining to me Japanese forest bathing, and that's what those people are doing is they're like going in and breathing pining. They're not smoking weed. It's not really cannabis related at all. But there's an element that crosses there. Um, I, th I forget. I can't obviously don't know the word for it in Japanese. But they have this word that's called forest bathing. And you know these are hardworking people, especially like Tokyo being such a big city. But you know people take time to like do this forest bathing. Part of that process is breathing in pinene, right? You're going to this patch of trees where you're taking in these terpenes, right? Because terpenes aren't discriminate. Dude, they ain't just weed with weeds. It's insane. all plants. That makes sense because like when you go, when I go up north or you go into the forest, like <sighs> right? That's like my like the ultimate thing is Dude. to take that fucking fresh air and just man. Yeah. And then you got to take more because it's fresh, right? Dude, some, like, some places, man, the air is so great that it's like you're sipping it. Like you're like almost drinking something. Yeah, like bro. Like, ooh, you Damn, know? Yeah, like, uh, you taste that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah, I definitely feel that. So you guys, uh, man, you dropped some you dropped some dope names on me. Uh, what would you say you're the most excited for what you're getting ready to drop? Um, honestly, you have that form cut. Yeah, you know, that's the one. Yes, I'm just really excited. I don't know if I've had Forum. I've had Forum from Grow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like it. it was good. But I've had, but any other Forum I had was fire. I don't but think I had it from, one batch of Forum. I've, I've, I've had it even from Bloom before, and it was fucking good. Word? From Bloom? I'm missing that. Like, seen like it probably like three that. or four years, years ago, but... There's certain strains too that I know I'm gonna be excited about, just like the extracts that we're gonna make out of it. You know, just like ooh, and that comes out in a batter. Like the batters, um, we were kind of talking about that earlier. Yeah, Especially yeah. you come from that culinary background. Yeah. You know, adding that whip to it, you know, I think like, that's why I just kind of the live resins, especially man. Yeah. It just it accentuates all that terpene. You know, like you said, it kind of aerates yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it stronger. It gives it structure. Dude, that balance. on that on a cold start, like that's one of sets my favorites. Them. It sets them in in place until you disturb it. Diamonds are diamonds are awesome. Those yeah. diamonds, bro. I, I'm gonna dap you up, man. Uh, I, thank listen, you, man. bro. Uh, 
we are we're always honored like when people bring us stuff but like this is dope man like yeah, super dope, this man. was like way beyond what i could like even expect you know i was hella cool with you just coming in bro like but no, but we want to yeah, is... show some love, get the word out there. You know, what's funny, too, is you're talking about, like, your culinary background and how you were just smoking. You get, you know, that's one of my favorite things is, like, getting high, having that cannabis creativity be able to inspire you, and it takes certain things that you do to another level. Oh, yeah. You know, that's part of, like, breaking the stigma, too, that a lot of, like, leading brands are doing, you know. Yeah, to show these people, like, you can get shit done. Yeah, you just got just like with every, just like with drinking the alcohol, you just got to be responsible. Yeah, right? dude, so we hope the dabs, you know, we hope that fucking elevates the show man yeah. Shout out, hashtag elevate higher man we're trying to you know it's like oh, yeah, it's just like a just do it thing you know you gotta elevate, elevate higher, higher whatever you're doing i'm i'm down i will yeah we'll be elevated i'm up. <laughs> yeah. I'm up. i definitely Dude, you guys got i don't know i was now i'm kind of going so you got yeah we've done a lot of dabs a lot of the backwards you made that standard of like being able to really get strains through a woods rap man that is uh yeah that's such a great like lens to kind of have you know my dude that's real you know? <laughs> it took a lot of harsh blunts to get that <laughs> down but i'll have to say like right now i can in this session i can gas past that jenny oh dude I, I, I appreciate the that gas jenny pass the dude I, bowl right now and it's like no offense. I just to feel the honored OG. to have the gas I'll, pass bestowed, right? Uh, oh, On bro, the spot. You, you guys fucking yeah, bro. You guys Facts. definitely uh earn this. This OG, no offense, I, I gotta take another flight of it, uh, just because I wanna get that taste again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I because creamy like creaminess is probably one of my obvious like being a pastry chef, I like that creaminess flavor mixed with that dank, like it's wedding the cake. Ultimate. You gotta like wedding wish, cake, sir. I wish I would have uh, brought some cookies and cream. You oh. gotta get on the cookies and cream. We have, yeah. Y'all gotta oh. take that and cream. Extra, yeah, fam. There's a cookies and cream. Uh, I think Suma and Vegas Grills that I tr I would really want to get my hands on, and I'm glad you said that because. I will be waiting. I will buy it. I don't give a fuck. You'll like, have to look for that I extract. Love cream. But oh no in any form you see that cookies and cream in, grab grab one of those. I will. If I see one out, I'll try to think of you and send one slide one to you. I will get it. But um you guys got a lot of local dispensaries where you're at and you guys are out on the west side too, right? Well he's uh central. I'm oh yeah, you're downtown, central. right? Yeah. We're I'm spread, I'm at uh, I'm in Tempe Central right? and Camelback, so we are all over. Mm -hmm. You guys got the whole valley held down. That fat. You guys are like triangulating. Then you and then we got Steve's right over in Glendale, right? So we got mm -hmm. Tempe, Glendale, Phoenix, and Goodyear covered. Thank yeah, you, man. you guys. Yeah, you guys. And Allison's in Tempe too. So we yep. got two. Oh, dude, got two we got one on one side of the mountain and one on the other. Like damn, mm -hmm. bro, all parts. All, all parts. parts. That's what's up, dude. Damn. All hippies coming. I thank down. all you guys, man, for real, because. You know, I couldn't really, like, when I started this, like, honestly, I, I wouldn't be lying if I told you that I couldn't imagine us being here. I just try to be, like, real humble about it. But I always had the drive and passion and knew, like, bro, if we put the work in, like, good things will come. You know, we'd be patient. And, you know, I've had to explain that to a lot of people. Like, not, I'm not even talking about you guys. I'm just talking about, like, outside the circle because they don't understand, like, what we do a lot of people look at it like we're just smoking pot right and i'm like nah bro there's a bigger goal i was like just watch there's a bigger goal and people are gonna catch on to like that that mission that we're we're pushing but these are the episodes that do it too you know what i'm saying like bro that's we're, what i'm we're saying really talking about the really and i and i love when we talk about off the wall alien shit too yeah, but we, can, real we can get education. into it. Where's yeah. the yeah. Come yeah. education? We'll do that it's an exciting hunting. time for that. Yeah. Well, we got we got time for we're going alien hunting, show. bro. Dude, <laughs> you, you coming? Are you is, is that part of the Oklahoma trip or what? Oh, no, <laughs> like, no, no. Like, when are you guys doing? We're it? just gonna do it. Dude, I don't know when. How does one alien hunt exactly? I have no idea. I'm not sure idea, on the alien sir. hunting how we're gonna do that. We got the ghost hunting trip pretty much planned out. Oh yeah. word! We're gonna, What's we're the gonna, location? We wanna go to Jerome and stay oh, in the dude. hotel. Oh dude! He said, "Oh, oh. that even got me more scared." Yeah. Sure. Um, that's what they call that, it used to be called like the asylum. Hunt. Right. So I, I don't know the details. What? I just Yo, know it's what? like a haunted hotel. So my one well, uh, my yeah, grandma's. I'll, I'll, no, no, no. Hold up. No, no, no. Dude, my yes, grandma sir. is from a town called Douglas, Arizona. Okay, oh, and Douglas has this hotel called the Gadsden, and 
Um, I'm not a hundred percent on my, uh, you know, stats we, we and will, UFOs, we won't, hold, we won't fact check UFO you. statistics, but I'm, this is like all the shows fucking have gone through this place is what I'm saying. And like, it's funny cause we've gone down there, especially over the years, unfortunately, the most times I've visited there is like, that's kind of like the home base family funeral. So all of like her family. So we'd go down there for like, and we would stay in this hotel and they would literally advertise, like, we were just on the show and stuff like that. But it's, like, this 100-year-old was this cowboy kind of hotel giant, like, grand thing that's just Haunted. so old, man. You Like, everything in there is so old. It's like a time portal. So that sounds like this. So what you're saying is we can go ghost hunting and alien hunting on the same trip. That's the move down there is what I'm saying. <laughs> Jerome, great. That's awesome. But you got to look into the, the Gadsden, Gadsden. In Douglas, Don't Arizona. Don't tell these guys that. Dude, I'm, they're dragging I'm you, man. They're gonna I take went you. somewhere. I can see it in your I eyes. Will not be <laughs> I went games. somewhere in Nevada. It was like literally in the middle of no, like Nevada, bro, like minor town, and stayed in this old ass hotel, like just like you're talking about, bro, yeah. like old fucking yeah. beds, hard as fuck, <laughs> like, yeah. bro, and I was, you know me, I'm smoking, like I tried to be cool because it was my first time. <coughs> going to Nevada while it was wrecked so you know I'm on the snap like the, the snapchat smoking a blunt in the, in the actual casino like trying to show off <laughs> I swear to god like there was this big ass painting bro that was like this old ass lady and I had to end the snapchat so quick because I was so fucking high I swear that lady was watching me bro the whole time Damn, dude. Um, I was dude. like nah I couldn't even sleep right I was like so glad to get up and dip in the morning because it was like a <laughs> It was like a pit stop between Vegas <laughs> and Reno. So it was literally in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I was like, this is, this is where I'm at tonight. This, if it goes down, it goes down here. <laughs> so the old maid was watching this poker game. Jim, that's oh, crazy. Man. I tried to gamble. I thought, like, this old ass casino takes pennies. Nope. Doesn't take pennies. There's only ATMs. <laughs> only dollars and cards. I'm like, oh, y'all upgraded this, though. Yeah. Like, old folks casino, bro. What you thought they was going to have? Penny machines. Nah, man. Penny slots. Is you know that what a I'm thing? Saying? Those are upscale it old folks. I don't know if it still is. Yeah. Those I are mean, upscale old folks. Room, casino. Is there a room for a penny? That's in the, the only way. I, listen, that's uh, the only way uh, I'm gambling, okay? Oh, you can find me a nice little penny yeah, machine. I can't. Gambling is Maybe top, a nickel man. machine. I like I like knowing I'm getting something for my I, money. I just, the odd, to be too away, I'm just too aware of the odds. I just can't. Listen, it's changed. I can't be a, go out like a sucker. My, I feel like Blackjack can kind of give you, you can have some good kind of strategy. Your is good. Blackjack, baby, if you know what's up. Yeah, like you can. And I'll tell you, I, I don't know I usually, what's up, but I always come home with my. Well, Poker's kind of same way, right? You can be good, um, but dude, just like I some, play, I I play roulette a lot when I play. Do you? That's roulette like the craziest is straight shit, right? odds, bro. That's, that's just straight like, luck. I, and, and that's what and that's what I do. I try to all. I try to straight up hedge all my bets. <laughs> Dude, hundred on green, hundred on green, hundred that green. too. I mean, yeah, I don't I know. listen, I got five hundred, five bets, and some slots on green. What if I hit green? What do I win? Do you remember? Do you know what? I don't even know what you're talking about. I roulette. <laughs> I lost you. If you hit green on roulette, what happens you, to your prize? Like you're winning. Does it like? I don't know, bro. Quadruple. I don't know something. I think it's the I, amount I, of money you I, bet. I, That's just it. Yeah, you put. You put. What happens? He's is, asking I, how to I, play roulette. I know how to play, but let's say I put five hundred, or let's say I put a hundred on green, and then the ball lands on green. I'll get a hundred, but how much will I get, like winning wise? It, what is it times? And, oh, and the it, times. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. Mm. Like, it's like yeah, it's, it's it, because each, like, an individual number is such and such odds. So that's what it's multiplied by, and like, because I think like if you go black or red, you can if you win, you double your money. If you go like. They have like sets of three, like the first set of three, whatever those numbers are, goes through. If they hit in there, that's what like one in three odds. So you can triple up on those. Oh. And, and and like each level is worth more, of course, because there's All right, less we gotta cut the conversation hit. here, because now I feel like I got a chance of winning when I'm in Vegas. This nah. <laughs> stupid. I, I mean, I, I ain't, I'm not gonna lie, I. Walked away from a table with like an extra three hundred dollars in my pocket playing roulette one night. I did same. But then, but jack. then, but then, I went and spent some of it on something that kept me up the rest of the night, and then I lost <laughs> the rest of it. I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> I was like, 
you know what? I could make even more money. Give me a minute. I'll be back. And then I went back to the table with the rest. Huh? It's like hold my beer. Be right yeah, yeah. Well, he's yep. in Vegas, so he could just keep <laughs> well, hold my oh, yeah, spot. So you, <laughs> hold my spot. <laughs> right, right. So, and then I was like, and then I was like, I, there's no way I can lose now. I can take this three hundred dollars. I can make way more money with it. <laughs> oh shit! I uh, I didn't lose any money. I had an uncle teach me like a a strategy that always stuck with me. And every few times I have gambled, I'd kind of employ it like a two pocket strategy, right? So like. You put the knit money you're willing to lose in your right pocket, right? And then anything over that, you put in your left pocket, right? And then when you run out on your right, you're just done. Like, you know, just be done. Don't think about what happens on the left, but when you run out on the right, right? Like, you're good. Just, you know, like, have a good system to be, like, I'm gonna to not lose. Like, that's the I'm only out. way to ever successfully, like... I'm going to have to try it. Participate in that. It's like this two-pocket system. Sure I'm like, I oh, that's kind of pockets. smart. All right. See, I... <laughs> I always sure I got my two pockets. Once I've I try to have like an amount of money that I'm willing to lose and once I double that, I basically take that money out and then I just try to play off the winnings for the rest of the time. Yeah, I just fucking I think... gamble everything in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know they put the winnings in his pocket. But again, it's because Ooh, I don't I hate not getting something back out when I spend money. I was like, well, so like if I if I'm like, phone. all right, I'm gonna get a hundred dollars in chips. I need that return, once that baby. Hun- once that hundred dollars is back and I'm stacking on top of that hundred dollars, I'll pull my hundred dollars and then play off the hundred I want. Yeah, and I think that's that like what he explained. Gone, Maybe I butchered and it. Then, and then when that's, that's gone, then I'm out. I don't want to hear none of it because now I'm going in like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm ready. We lit I'm let me go, ready. Let me go flip some cupcakes. Who got a poker app on their phone? You're gonna have just ha- you're gonna start having just I your gambling you. cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna bake this amount a day. Set aside, set aside that. Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be cool. Dude, I'm excited. Got I'm, enough time. I'm excited for my daughter's birthday now. I'm going to be getting these three flavors. Okay, what, what I What flavors do you think I got to go with? What are your uh, three favorites? Uh, I got to go with your three favorites. Strawberry Crunch for sure. Okay. Because it's like, you know, the old school strawberry uh, crunch bars. Like the ice, ice cream, cream bars. bars. The strawberry ice crunch cream. ice cream bars. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just like that. Okay. Kind of because it's a little better. Mm. You could freeze it and have a fucking delight. Oh, dude, you just killed freeze it. Freeze it. You can turn it into like a, basically an ice cream cake if you wanted to. That's how my that's how my frosting is set up. So it's super, you got a lot of moisture going on. It's yeah. gonna be real creamy. It's wet. <laughs> oh, so I got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my you banana pudding my one up. is on. My, yeah, I got you, baby. <laughs> my banana pudding one's on fire as well. Oh, oh, oh. yes, uh, yes, dude. Yeah, no, seriously dude, though. Dude, I don't even like bananas. I only like banana pudding, and. Does it have That's a it. does it have a vanilla wafer aspect to it? Yes. yes. So and it's uh the we're brown already. sugar sitting bro. Sorry, that I that just clap into microphone. Man, that was probably non kosher. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. That's, That's a nice little. little over here. That's Dude. how excited I got oh. about your banana pudding. Just okay. somebody's ear drums out. <laughs> nice little bro. buttery cupcake. Is okay, so that's one, two. What's the third? The third. Dang, man, he had to say the banana pudding cupcake. God. I'm trying to Dude, the re- with those other two, that out. Reese's joint, just because it's chocolate. Dog, I did the Reese's, I did oh, the Snickers. Oh, the chips I did the Rolo. But, and, well, I mean, to I me, Re- Re- Reese's, Reese's is well, one of my, like, oh, the to me, chocolate peanut butter is, like, that's, that's a staple. Yeah, you can't that's go That's a staple right If there. you want you chocolate... I mean, look, my three chocolate The Rolo flavors. one was good yeah. as fuck, too. I got Reese's, Rolo, and uh, Snickers. Oh, you like the animal cookie. Oh, yeah, I got the animal, animal. The, the frosted animal, animal cookies. Is good. Those circus animal, animal cookies. Circus oh. animals, yeah. 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 Fire. Yeah. Oh, man. What, this this I, turned into a hard thing I have now. to ask you a, a serious question, though. Like, Tell what's me. the date? That's the important thing. Um. Oh, shit. You're probably in demand right now, huh? No, no, well, kind of, I got just a lot of traveling going. So, um, September 7th is a Monday. It'll be the following weekend. Oh, that's perfect. I'll be It would be ideal. I should be in town. I should be. Because the 7th, the 6th is a Sunday. If I can squeeze, if if I can squeeze it. Shout out to my daughter, Marley. Labor Day. Oh, every So it's like every four, I think it's every four years, or every seven years, her birthday will fall on a Monday, Labor Day. Hey, that's I was supposed to be in Denver that day for a fish show. A fish show? Well, no, actually the day before. I'm supposed to be coming back that day from that. But that's not not going going down? Damn, that means you wouldn't have. 
been going to Vegas if Vegas. Nah, no. I would have. I would have. I had. I, I had tickets. Take... I had tickets to go to the three nights in Denver at uh, which was over Labor Day weekend. It would have been Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Damn. We're going to Vegas. When are you going to Vegas? That weekend. That weekend. Like I'll be gone the fourth. So here's the thing. We just got. Just didn't get that early. Pop it in the fridge. To do, uh, I guess it's like a online, like a YouTube TV talk show. Basically, kind of like Jada Pinkett's Round Table, right? Red Table, with this lady in Vegas who looks extremely classy. She's from England, so I definitely want to talk to her just to talk to her. She's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's from England. She's from England, bro. That's awesome. And you know she's an, she's an elderly lady, and she has no limits on who she'll interview, like stoner brands and everything. And she said like she's willing to interview us to get on her TV show, but she only films on Tuesdays. So I'm like, fuck, you know, I'll be in Vegas that weekend. And she was like, yeah, if you can stay till Tuesday. So like that's my dilemma. Like, do I stay till Tuesday or? Do I put it off? Do I come back on Sunday and go back on Tuesday? And <laughs> be there by one. Decisiones. Yep. So yeah, that's that one hell of a turnaround. If you came back, went back. I know. That's what I was thinking about staying here the whole time. Room will be nice. So I won't have to leave. Fuck. You can have people come clean your room, room service. That oh yeah. Like or housekeeping, whatever they're called. I mean, it sounds like a good plan. Sounds like, it, I mean, I want to do it. I would. I, I guess you'd have to calculate the cost of the room for the extra nights versus the cost of the travel. Well, Steve's would be trip. going with me, so whatever it is, it's just half. Of, but yeah, he said he. You know him. Well, shit, I'm down as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Steve down. All right, dude. All right, I'm gonna chill. Let me, let me ponder on this for a minute. But. Like eighty five percent of me wants to say yes, but the fifteen percent of me is real heavy. It's like, uh. so we Make think it out. So, but that weekend after, right, is your is your party? Where I'll be here. We'll be back by then for sure. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go the to show. Cali if I go to Cali like that week because I need to be back for the twentieth. I got to be, to be back on the traveling. 20th. Yeah, man, we 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 kind of just got blessed with like brands hitting us up and shit. Like, lessons. Gotta make the moves. And I'm all for it. All yeah. expense paid and shit. <laughs> so my man, listen. Uh, I appreciate you sliding through. Yeah, we're gonna having. most definitely. We got one more quick little uh, just thing we gotta get covered. We got some questions. They're we're gonna questions. ask you. They're pretty. Uh, I don't even know how to explain them. We got what 200? 200 questions. Um. Or have you leveled it down? Yet? I mean, there's still about that many on the page, but we're gonna do pick a number between one and seventy-five. Okay. Okay, one and seventy-five. Uh, let's go number four. Number four. Oh God! <laughs> I like those fucking animal, world's deadliest animal. Would you rather sell all of your possessions or one of your organs? Uh, definitely all my possessions, <laughs> probably. Well, I mean, actually, it depends on which organ. And you sell, got two kidneys. Cell is an interesting thing. Like, why are we selling it? Like, <laughs> what's going on? I like this too. Man. Man. We could, is there a don't? I do feel we have, almost, do I have another option? Cell just turned me off a little bit. I feel like donate situation is weird is a different one. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I would say possessions, probably. Probably make a nice little amount of change. Unless I could, like you said, maybe pick the organ, right? If we got to get into the fine print. But I don't <laughs> know. That's but I mean, answer. I don't know if I'd even want to pick an organ to sell. Dude, yeah, I just feel it too, like... Black market? I mean, I get that you got two Is an appendix an organ? Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, I feel like there's things if, that... If, as you could, if you could say, yeah, take my appendix. I mean, maybe that's a different. I don't know. I'd have to. How, do I get time for research? Right? Like, do I get to? What's the time frame I gotta like truly answer by? Man, I don't know. I feel like there's things that are organs that are getting outdated. Maybe as you kind of evolve, like people get appendicitis probably for a specific reason because we're not like eating the same way probably. So now I'm starting to come around. You know, got some nice shit kind of. 
Yeah. Get rid of this appendix. I don't use it for yeah. shit. Nah, probably possessions. <laughs> That's a good hippie question, though, right? How many hip- hippies have smoked a joint and been like, dude? <laughs> dude. Would you rather? Like, all your shit. <laughs> like, shoes, like, clothes? Ev- naked? It says possessions, bro. House. Naked. I mean, it says possessions, so however you want to... Con- I, I, will, I will say you can keep clothes because that's like, you can keep clothing, your house maybe, nah. Is nah, it just, that's what I'm saying, is it all just your things that I bought? What if it's a co-possession? All your possessions. <laughs> what, Everything. What if it's in my baby? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I need the fine print, uh, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta, I feel like I gotta call my lawyer. Here's the contract. <laughs> On the contract, it says all of them. All <laughs> of them. <laughs> it just says everything. <laughs> yeah, then that young appendix is maybe looking good. Or like you said, you got two kidneys. Right? You know? Probably two kidneys. Slide one of those out? Give one of those guys to pick where it goes. I don't want to just go to waste. No, nah, yeah. you don't get that. Much. Yeah, you just shit get on the ice. You just get to pick what we're taking. Oh, what if it what's the like going? What's the going person. rate for a fucking appendix? How much can I buy back of my shit? I want fifty percent of the profits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. See, so I can buy a new one. If I got a real nice appendix, you know, like I've been real, he- I've been real healthy. I've been <laughs> what like, if what, 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 my vitamins? What if you're getting sixty cents on the dollar for your possessions, but you're getting like that's what I'm saying. You're getting this like two hundred percent on I the pre- appendix. I appreciate you getting time to kind of unpack this and explore it a little bit, because yeah, um, kind of coming around now. We might have a I'm yeah. Dead. That's what I'm saying. We gotta have some going. Listen, rates listen. Here. We can throw in some painkillers on the side. <laughs> To get you through the surgery, okay? Right. No, you know what? You know what? Adjust your collar. You know what? Please. I got, I got one better. You like weed? Well, uh-huh. we will get you a med card for every state in the United States. You can anywhere. just smoke weed anywhere. I can go anywhere. Oh shit! Now we just leveled it up. Dude, leveled it up. You know what? What if there was this like golden card you could have? You smoke weed anywhere, everywhere. Yeah, dude. Do you think somebody has one of those right now? I don't know about it. I feel like Wiz Khalifa, Woody Harrelson probably has one of those. Snoop Dogg. If if one exists, Snoop's got it. Yeah, he yeah. yeah. He may not even need it though. He may need. He may be such a stoner on a level above. He is is the card. Like you have to have Snoop with you to be able to smoke anywhere. Yeah. What if he like if you're if you're smoked in the White House? Supposedly he smoked in the White House. I would believe it. I no, say he smoked no, in the no, no, no. Oh, for real? Yeah, he said he smoked in the bathroom. Because I remember there was a video of him smoking outside the White House, like, or maybe he was just in Washington, D.C. I don't know. I was like, look it up, bro. He said, I went into the bathroom, I, I lit up, and I walked out. And I, I don't forgot who the president was. It's either fucking Bill Clinton or one of them fools. I don't know. But I think he definitely said that. I was like, okay, I believe him. Yeah. I Probably just lit it up though. He didn't smoke it. I wonder what kind of drugs. <laughs> yeah, right. Down at the White House. <laughs> yeah, right. Everything. Everything. Everything is happening everything. in the White House. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Totally. Okay. It goes down in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Club White House. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Disco ball drop. All right. Shit. Next question. Okay. What do we got? One through seventy-five again. Um. All right. What are we gonna do? Seventy-seven. <laughs> one through seventy-five. Oh right. But there is I a seventy-seven. This, this, and guess what? Up to 80. Guess what? There we'll is a seventy-seven. To so me. we're gonna go ahead and give it to you. I was thinking gambling because you picked triple it. sevens. You picked it. You got it, bro. What do we got? Number seventy-seven. Would you rather be an amazing painter or a brilliant mathematician? Oh. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh. Whoa. These are questions, man. <laughs> These are questions, dude. Cause like at first yeah. I, this is kind of like these are like terpene profiles. Like I'm getting something first, and then I'm like, oh, hold on a second. Those are just the perfect polar opposite. It's great. It really is. It's funny because the way I'm thinking about it is like if you're going painter, right? You're probably gonna have like a great experience yourself. Uh, you're going to probably be an enjoyer of life. But you're going mathematician, you're probably going to, yeah, maybe have some of that, but most of the time you're going to be a great provider, right? You're going to be able to, like, really fucking make some shit happen. And some money. And some, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some scribble. That's what I'm saying. I so, mean, if I you're that great of a painter, you would easily be able to make enough money even yeah. if it wasn't your goal. Not no, like, but that's the percentage of those painters. Like, but it says brilliant painter. Brilliant. I oh, mean, shit. You'd be like Jay Z. Or no, it, no, it yeah. says no. It says amazing painter, brilliant mathematician. I'm oh. going with brilliant. 
I'm going Brilliant Imagination, dude. Okay. That's the first one that I kind of thought of, and then, yeah. No, I know a lot of amazing painters, and it's a struggle. Dude, yeah, who, uh, Chance, right? You guys had Chance. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, he, yeah him and Addy. Dude, it's funny you said that. Uh, I mean, just like you, I think people with artists, man, a lot of people know artists that you're just like, dang, like, how does this, how did more people not know about this? That's you know? true. It breaks my heart. That's crazy, man. There's a lot of that. It's weird. It's just weird, um, you know, prioritize certain things. Here's Here's another thing based off chance I'm doubling down on an amazing painter because if I was an amazing painter he said the thing that he said that really struck me was if you can get like a thousand people to pay a hundred dollars for your art a year you're good to go and if you really think about that that's not if you're an amazing painter that wouldn't be too difficult to get just a thousand people and be happy yeah, and be but happy what all are the, the time? gaps in between that year that you're getting a hundred dollars? Like, what if like yeah. <laughs> there's not well, a big of, art think wave? You, where... Think about when you average in. I mean, that's the that's just an average. Like, what if one month you get that hundred, but then like you don't get you get maybe like your next three to four hundred like six months down the road. Well, hey, man, it probably wouldn't be easy starting off. <laughs> let's just you're let's right, be real. You're right, you're it wouldn't right. be easy it's starting funny, off. It's like, yeah, with the artist, too, it's like... But if you're a mathematician... You, you just, could calculate how much it would be. Uh, and you could, you probably could easily. impact... I mean, art is kind of is cultural. Certain art but transcends. certain, But like mathematicians, you create a path that changes the world. Change the world. Impacts everybody. You know, on on a on such a large scale. Too. Yeah, and plus that's kind of what we need right now with a lot of shit going. On. Smarter you know, we people. Need. We need more intelligence. <sighs> I mean, I don't know if it's intel. What's that famous quote? It's like a, um, you know, intelligence and uh, I don't know, but you know, we far our intelligence and seized our. Uh, oversees our wisdom like we're not wise we're intelligent type mm-hmm. of thing like it's weird to try to find that line in it you know because i don't know do we, we do we need more intelligent people we, got a lot of, we need like wise people you know okay. yeah because you never heard an intelligent person once said it's always a wise <laughs> mm-hmm. exactly. wise, wise man, man said wise man yeah. Said. <laughs> yeah. yeah all right what do you got next one all right let's go um Let's go 11. Number 11. All right. Would you rather eat a spoonful of wasabi or a spoonful of extremely spicy hot sauce? Extremely spicy hot sauce, 100%. Over I love wasabi. spicy stuff, and I'm not a fan of wasabi. So yeah, that was a that soft was easy. one. I, I feel, I that feel was a like... Soft one. The, the burn of the wasabi is, like, all here, where the burn of the hot sauce is, like, all here. And wasabi tastes like shit. It does, Yes, man. it does. I just can't get, I can't get on board. Tastes oh, I, like I, I like shit. it. Do you? You're not, I, we keep having this conversation on how you're not human. Not human. <laughs> so, it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. All right, well, that was easy. That um, was <laughs> Next question. No debate. No de- No fucking debate. He's on all that one. pissed off. Oh, that man. was easy. Yeah. <laughs> forty. Change your answer. <laughs> Number. New question. Forty. You should get a job at the DMV. Forty. You stupid. Is it DMV? I should or get a MVP? job at that damn dispensary. Right. This one's, this one's long. So. Damn. Tongue twister. Would you rather have a map that shows you the location of anything you want to find? and can be used again and again, but has a margin of error of up to five miles, or a device that allows you to find the location of anything you want with incredible accuracy, but it can only be used three times. Definitely the former, not the latter. Five mile accuracy, I can. You can, you can find yeah. it from there? I, you got it from I got, there. I got a car, right? Hell. See, I can drive that five mile radius anywhere I want to. So, I mean, though, here's the question: When you're within that five mile radius, are you get it, still getting guidance, or is it like the guidance is turned off and now you're looking for clues? I mean, and this fucking hunt turns into like a whole. <laughs> 
10 years <laughs> of you driving what are the around you're in your car. For? What are the things you're looking for? Like anything you want. So, I mean, you know what you year. want. So, this is what I'm saying. Like, you oh, know yeah. what you want. Look at Jumanji. Oh. So, so, I mean, if you got me five, like, hey... I'm just thinking they got they got this bud you're looking for within five miles or right here. But it's and it's everlasting, right? And you can do it as many times as you want. So I'm just if you could be location specific, then you could just right like you could. I'm just thinking from like a business end, like that's an that's a really profitable map right there, right? You know what I mean? Like if we're trying to source some, I don't know, you make some kind of ethical business, and I need like this kind of whatever. Maybe it's a fucking mineral. I don't know. Yeah, (laughs) man, it's just. Follow the map, and it's a five mile. <laughs> Where's that? Where's the gold mine, man? It's like uh, five miles. Uh, I can find the gold. No, or you could I'm be. You would be like the best. You could be. You could be a private investigator with that, and probably make some screw. Yeah, and help so I'm people. going with the ladder. I'm gonna use that thing three times to find three gold find mine, three a things. gold mine, a diamond mine, <laughs> and a bag of hidden money that my, somebody lost, and that's gonna be it. And then when you find that shit, <laughs> they're going to come looking for their money. They, they lost it. I heard you found the good. Keyword, lost it. Finders. <laughs> Finders. Y'all, y'all, y'all missed losers. the lost part. Like, what do you, you mean? Go you full, can't shoot me? You, you missed like the Indiana lost Jones. part. It was lost, so they lost it. They they left it. They and now lost they it. found it. No, they didn't find Think it. about you it. losing a dog and then finding it. That, well, how many times road. does that happen? It's happened to me. Next question. Last one. Uh, I think it's the last one. I think this is the last one. Make it good. What we got? Make it juicy. All right, so let's do uh, number 29. Number 29. I'm here to renew my life. Would you rather never run out of battery power for whatever phone or tablet you own? Yep. Or always have free Wi-Fi wherever you go. Yep. Oh, no. Both of them. Oh, no. no. Yeah, both. How do I get the combo? Both. The second. <laughs> the second. Where do I get the, the combo second. from? What? The se- Bro, your what? phone is always fucking what you, dead. What Bro. do you do with a phone that without Wi-Fi? You use your service. That you never Ooh, get to yeah. have when you're out of service somewhere. The, Boy, I have Verizon and you, unlimited and service. service. But I love choppy. like camping, dude. Being in the woods, man, that means you could be so deep and you're have a, hot a spot. strong signal. Imagine driving that to, to Vegas and your music cut off or your map be off because of the Wi-Fi. Guess and the what? Mountains. Your map doesn't... Well, okay, let me tell you. When you're driving... The part where your map cut up, cuts off, you only have to go straight. Like, and it's only out for like <laughs> 10 to 20 minutes. Like I said. Right? You only got to go straight. What if you so go to, what if you drive to New York? What if you drive in Florida? What if you drive to a far state? You still only What if you drive to, to OKC? You have to drive straight, dude. Literally. That's a long Any, time. There's a long stretch of. That there's that much when's of the last time you took a road trip? Straight. Oh, you just went to Vegas. Exactly. Where was the, like, Long ass strip of road where Ooh, you were that just was like going 20, straight. 20, 30 miles. Where the guy? You were just going straight. <laughs> nah, right? it said I had to turn. I think I the only point the, your phone I cuts almost. out on the way to Vegas is the Hoover Dam. But dude, or I sometimes when you're going camping way. and you're out really deep and you can't I've never find, been camping. You're trying I'm to meet sad. people. I have a sad You've life. never been camping? Yeah, like, not even Who wants to go camping? Not even once? We're coming up on time. We gotta go camping if you've only been one time camping. Okay, we'll go camping, ghost hunting, and alien hunting. I don't even like really, really super like camping but if you've only been one time we need to go camping and i ain't never been camping don't nobody want to go camping i want to listen i want to go camping? camping no i do i ain't never it's seen the now. snow how am i gonna go camping you've never seen you the snow there, no there's, you don't want snow when you're going camping <laughs> yeah you don't want snow <laughs> those, are, well, those no. are polar opposites i mean you can do it if you got the right gear like it can be an enjoyable experience but if, yeah no nah, yeah, i'm good but i love cold. s'mores though so if you want to make some s'mores all right make so bro camping so i gotta i gotta take you guys camping and I will do Dude, the fishing. October in Arizona, man. I in. fuck with fishing oh, all shit. day. Yeah, fishing. fishing we got is some great We got great fishing we spots here at? too, man. Don't Dude, matter. There's so many places we can go camping. We can go camping with, on the go beach. Go on the rim. Within on the rim. Within beach. One, that ain't camping. Hell no. One hour. Of what? Is that a cliff? Places we can go yeah, it's a series of cliffs. Within you got me fucked up. But this, there's some great areas, go man. I don't fuck around with no cliffs. Don't sleep on the cliff. Don't sleep on the cliff. I don't go towards no cliffs. The view's worth it, dog. No, no view is worth any cliff for me. You don't have to be too close. Listen, I stayed in a fucking. In the MGM on the 21st floor, and that was a little sketchy for me just looking down. Like I don't like I don't like heights, so but I fuck saying, with you roller coasters. Go, you don't want to go climb uh, Four Peaks with me? Never. Oh wait, no, That's we climb the mountain. I climb the mountains. I, climb no I will not mountain climb, climb but no, I will we hike. Go camping up there. I will hike, but I will not mountain climb. Yeah, nobody's mountain climbing. Like rock climbing. Right. Four Peaks got a little bit of both. It's like a hike to a very little mountain. Yeah. I'll take that, none of that. 
See, it's very, it's, it's weird. It's dope. I'll skydive. Oh, dude, but I'm that's not a beautiful climbing. view, man. That's it's super cool out there. I've only been up there. Crazy twice, lately, though, after the fire, man. It's so crazy how much burning around there. Just everything it's in that area. Probably yeah. been at least five years since I've been up there. Oh wow, yeah, it's it was crazy. Shut Le- yeah man yeah yeah listen uh before we get into the full shout out i do want to uh thank all of you guys for tuning in uh any new new listeners i just want to welcome you guys to quality and let you guys know that as long as you roll with us we promise you no bad days right shout out to our sponsors mm. grow sciences true infusion shout out and now let's we'll do our official shout outs i just wanted to <laughs> shout out our sponsors real quick i like that a little i like that little smooth <laughs> but you know what i'm saying for real, we try to keep it real uh blunt and positive in here you know so i hope you know if you listen to us we make your day better but in our mind no bad days K book who you shouting out bro uh <laughs> i want to first of all shout out um Tolo and our dudes over at Roach Clip Podcast. Roach Clip. Uh, we were over there on Wednesday and uh, sat in with them and had a great time over there. Um, second of all, big shout out to High Grade. Shout I was, out High Grade. I was pretty excited Thanks, when I saw you guys on the on the schedule. So uh, you don't never know. It's always getting uh, high. I, I, look, high I look at the calendar and I see whose names on it that week. I can't. I can't <laughs> blend it. I, I try, I'm trying to enjoy every moment. Every moment. You're still so, you're still so hours. Yeah. Ain't you know? nothing wrong with it, bro. But no, you guys. Like I was excited. I couldn't have imagined you guys coming through and getting us this high. I mean, I could have, but thank you. Appreciate it. Didn't know it was you brought. You brought all the knowledge and slapped us in the face with some concentrates. Right. But enough for us to pay attention, bro. It wasn't like I was so high. I didn't, I couldn't even pay attention to what you were saying, bro. We did a good job. We we had a good sesh because the, the conversation was perfect to go with the, uh, the product. product medicinal purpose and it just it was a good balance and end of the day we didn't even do our normal how was your week or anything we just got straight <laughs> into it and that to me is the best show that was lit that's um, what happens when you so get shout out to high you. with high grade <laughs> shout out to all the fans um and shout out to everybody that's been uh following my new k benjamin photos instagram and getting that back going i'm uh Look out this week for I'm doing a little collab session with Garrett from Resonate. I, I, I got you. I hopped in now. Shout out uh, to your cable. So we'll be on. We'll, we'll be in there. Uh, I think Friday I'm supposed to go live on some stuff. I'm going to give away a couple fr- prints. We got some, maybe some cupcakes, maybe some shwa- swag. And mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, look for that. Swag, too. Not that. Look, look for that. Yeah, but yeah. Look. And uh, so everybody that fucks with me, shout out to you guys. Thank hey, you. Especially the winners. <laughs> yes, and both the winners, which both the winners and I hit them up like back to back. And she was like, oh, that's my boyfriend. You can just send them both here. Okay. So shout out to both of them that won the, the print sets. I was just going to do one and then I just decided to do two last night. So shout Good out to you, both man. of them. Killing Proud it. of you, bro. Proud Killing of you. It. And shout out to Jordan. And my homie Eric, who both ordered canvases off me this week. Yes, I'm so lit, bro. I told you, once it started coming out, I was going to get some art. I got you. Jinx. So, yeah. T Rose, who you got? What you got? Yo, shout out High Grade for coming through, man. Blessing us with the product and the merchandise, man. Most love, love the sesh, man. Great time. Yeah, thanks for Shout out that. Knuckle Butter for inviting the hippies out to OKC. I'm super excited, man. It's going to be a super lit time. Shout out my boy Young Hippie, man, for, you know, being my wee food and uh, definitely putting me on game with everything going on right now in the industry. And uh, just keeping your boy floating every day. Shout out my boy K-Bug for always coming through and definitely hooking me up with the knowledge when I go out to represent the hippies when we hit OKC. Uh, <laughs> shout out my girl. Shout out Baby Riley. Daddy love you. Shout out Steez. And uh, yeah, man, that's about it. It's your boy T-Rose. Outro. I got to I got okay. Before I get to Alec, I got to comment on your uh, shout out, boys. Like, you got, you switched the whole, like, <coughs> you went Art LeBeau. <laughs> the hell is Art LeBeau? <laughs> oh. We're going to talk about Art LeBeau after the show. Oh, great. We're going to talk. 
You did it. You did. You brought a serenade. You you if you <laughs> never heard the Art LeBeau show, you are missing out on life, and that's on everything I love. Shout out that's to Art LeBeau. Show I'm original because I don't know who. Dude, Art I'm, I'm just gonna say and right now, I I'm feel like I got movie. something to Google too now, so don't don't feel like. Oh, oh my dog. You too. My dog. I'm just. Hey, I, I gotta be honest. You too, Alec. Who you shouting out, man? Let's. We got. We got. Man. Uh, well, shout out to. Uh, shout out to you guys. Thanks for having us. For sure, it's been cool to have. Whenever we had this on the calendar, I've been looking forward to it. So it's cool to come through. Yeah, man. Let's say what's love. Show some love. Hopefully, shed some uh, some knowledge on what we got going on too. Bruh. Sh- shout out to uh, the the whole industry and community out there. Patience. All the DAs grinding. Everybody killing it every day. Um, yeah. Just shout out to the fam in every form. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, man! Uh, yeah, and a little a hashtag elevate higher too. Everybody out there, I hope everybody does catch a great buzz off every high grade product they use. Sure. I'll tell you right high now. With high grade. You better get that Jenny's. Uh, Boy, <laughs> all right. Look, uh, shout out to for real for real, all the listeners, everybody that that uh, you know checks in on the gas passes and, and comments, likes, whatever. Shout However you uh, interact with those, shout out. <clears throat> To the squad, man, you know what I'm saying? K Boog, T, uh, Steez, Allison. Um, appreciate all you guys. Shout out to my man, uh, fuck, here we go. Travis. <laughs> Travis. <laughs> Travis, man, for real. Like, you know, we're giving this yeah. this opportunity to go out to Oklahoma and for show real. them what we could really do. You know, this was this was kind of the big break we needed, you know, like not saying we ain't getting no breaks, you know, like we get we been getting hooked up. I'm just saying, like this was the one that we needed out of state to kind of uh, push our momentum forward, you know. So I'm really excited. Uh, also, a little nervous because you know what I'm saying it's a whole new atmosphere. But again, I know we gotta go out here and crush it. So um, to kill it, bro. Congratulations to you guys. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. For real, this is, this is exciting. It's all uh, of this man's hard work, man. Yeah, man. I mean, no, we it's gotta... not all of my hard work, bro. It's it, this is a team effort. You know what I'm saying, Mike? <laughs> but I, you know, too, I just want to add a shout out to you. You guys, especially take it to other places. Like I said, you guys putting you know cannabis and Arizona cannabis on the map. Yeah, like we said, we do it real big for the state, man. Yeah. Like. We talk a lot about that on that Roach Clip podcast on why we do what we do. So uh, I would check that out. Um, but shout, really, shout out to High Grade, man. Y'all came through and made this session just exactly what it needed to be. Like, I just needed an escape. I got an escape and couldn't get any. Shout better, out to bro. Jordan for his two year sobriety. That was yesterday. Shout Appreciate out, my yeah. boy, dog. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, it's, it's, been, uh, it's, been, it's been fun to say the least. But. <laughs> Um, and shout out to your homies, man, for being cool with, with sitting outside. Oh, you know, yeah. We know we'll get them in the next time. We'll bring. But, uh, we'll do sure. one in the future when things are proper. We'll do the whole the whole crew too. Yeah. Look forward to it. Gang, gang, yeah. all the way around. Squad. Young hippie. K book. T Rose. Alec. We out. Ninety. Peace. <laughs>